During the Ektidar 1403 air defense exercise in Iran, the new version of the Bavar 373 air defense system was officially unveiled for the first time. Although the presence of this long-range and high-altitude air defense system had been confirmed for years, its official display for the first time led us to focus on this topic in today's video specifically, the new version of the Bavar 373 air defense system. So stay with us until the end of this video. After the first news about the development of the long-range and high-altitude Bavar 373 air defense system emerged in 2011, this system was officially unveiled in August 2019. Like other air defense systems, Bavar 373 operates in the form of a fire unit and battalion structure. According to the information released during its unveiling in 2019, each fire unit of the Bavar 373 air defense system used six TEL, transporter erector launcher vehicles, or missile carrier vehicles. Thus, a single fire unit of the Bavar 373 air defense system could carry up to 24 Sayyad-4 surface-to-air missiles. In addition to target detection and tracking radars and engagement and fire control radars, each fire unit of the system includes a command and control vehicle and generator vehicles to supply power to the system's components. At the battalion level, it also employs the Mirage Battlefield Surveillance and Management Radar. After the construction and unveiling of Bavar 373, its development did not stop. Initially, this system had specifications including a maximum detection range of 320 kilometers, a maximum tracking range of 260 kilometers, and a maximum engagement range of 200 kilometers using the Sayyid 4A surface to air missile. Additionally, Bavar 373 could simultaneously detect 300 targets, track 60 targets, and engage six targets at the same time, guiding two missiles per hostile target. Over time, as Bavar 373 was observed at certain air defense positions, it appeared that after undergoing various tests, the system was being integrated into the country's air defense network, alongside other Iranian air defense systems, to protect the national airspace. As time passed and 2022 arrived, a new version of the Syed-4 surface-to-air missile was displayed for the first time. This missile, known as Syed-4B, successfully destroyed its assigned target at a distance of over 300 kilometers, approximately 306 kilometers, during a live fire test. In this test, the Bavar 373 system detected and tracked the designated target at around 318 kilometers and at an altitude of approximately 15,500 feet before successfully destroying the target at a range of over 300 kilometers. This live-fire test demonstrated that the Bavar 373 air defense system, as a long-range and high-altitude system, possesses significant capabilities in engaging aerial targets at medium to high altitudes. However, this test was not the end of the story. One of the main challenges for radar systems responsible for detecting and tracking aerial targets at long-range and high-altitude or engaging them at considerable distances, is the curvature of the Earth. Although some still believe that the Earth is flat and completely level, the Earth's curvature at long distances and high altitudes creates difficulties for radar systems in detecting and tracking targets. Additionally, at such ranges and altitudes, maintaining the connection between the radar system and the missile for guidance to the target becomes problematic. This issue has led to various solutions being devised in different radar and defense systems. Among Russian air defense systems, telescopic masts are used for radar systems to detect airborne targets at low altitudes and overcome terrain obstacles and the Earth's curvature at long distances. For example, the detection and tracking radars of air defense systems like the S-300 and S-400 are designed to be mounted on telescopic masts allowing them to be positioned higher above ground level, thereby partially mitigating the challenges of Earth's curvature and improving target detection at long range and high altitude. This feature is also seen in the S-300V air defense system. The S-300V family, recognized as a specialized anti-ballistic missile defense system, has continued to develop through versions such as the Anti-2500, V4, and VMD. To maintain the connection between the air defense system and the launched missile, the S-300V system is equipped with a fire control radar in two types of tailor, transporter erector launcher and radar, vehicles. In the 9A82 tailor, 
a mast is used to elevate the fire control radar. The use of a teller in the Bavar 373 system, in addition to enhancing its capability to counter targets at long range and high altitude, enables it to independently launch and guide missiles to their targets after receiving target information. Once a target is detected by the fire unit's radar or other radar systems and assigned to Bavar 373 for engagement, the system can launch missiles without relying on the fire control radar of the fire unit. In this mode, although the radar's fire control capability is likely limited to guiding only one missile per target, it allows the Bavar 373 system to remain operational within Iran's air defense network even in the absence of the primary engagement and fire control radar. The tellers of this system, utilizing fire control radar, can continue functioning within Iran's air defense ring independently. According to the latest released image of the Bavar 373 fire unit structure, tellers equipped with fire control radar masts have been replaced with tells lacking radars. As a result, six Bavar 373 tailors, each armed with four Syed 4 missiles, are now present in the fire unit alongside detection and engagement radar systems. However, with the inclusion of tells without radar masts in the fire unit structure and linking each tell to a teller, the total number of missiles in the fire unit can be increased from 24 to significantly higher numbers. The second important point in the Ektadar 1403 air defense exercise in Iran was the linking of the S-300 air defense system with the Bavar 373 system. Although no further details or images were released about this development, some deductions can be made based on the limited available information. The S-300 system, which remained a topic of discussion for a long time following two Israeli attacks on Isfahan and subsequent strikes on Tehran, was showcased in this exercise. According to the released images of the S-300 system, several components of the S-300 fire unit structure were present, including five P-85 TE-2 launchers, communication relay vehicles, command and control centers, and the long-range detection and battlefield management radar 64N6E2. However, the controversial 30N6E2 engagement and fire control radars rumored in some reports to have been damaged by drone attacks were absent from the exercise. Given the presence of S-300 systems in the exercise and the established link between Bavar 373 and S-300, it appears that after targets are detected by the S-300 radars or other radars connected to the Qatam al anbiya Air Defense Headquarters, the S-300 system, despite not utilizing its own engagement radar, can engage enemy targets by relying on the engagement and fire control radar of the Bavar 373 fire unit. This means that in situations where the S-300 detection and engagement radars are unavailable, a communication link between the two systems enables the S-300 to utilize the detection and engagement radar data from Bavar 373. This ensures that even if the S-300 radars are out of operation, this long-range and high-altitude system remains active within Iran's air defense network. Although the Bavar 373 has followed a strong path of enhancement and development since its unveiling in 2019, the increasing aerial threats around Iran, particularly the growing use of ballistic and air-launched missiles, serve as a serious warning for the country. This situation necessitates a dedicated effort by Iran's armed forces and the Ministry of Defense to move towards developing and deploying specialized anti-ballistic missile defense systems. Military technology is advancing rapidly, and Iran is making some serious moves. With Iran strengthening its air defense network, one big question remains. What's the next step? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.